In this video, we are going to take a look at the feedback mechanisms in the body during the giving birth of a child. So here you can see that when the baby is due at nine months, that baby starts to push against the cervix. So remember, this is the cervix. And what happens is, because the head of the baby pushes against the cervix, the nerves, I mean the cervix, feels that pressure. And nerve impulses are transmitted to the brain. And the brain would stimulate the pituitary gland to produce oxytocin. And oxytocin is carried to the bloodstream in the uterus. And then that oxytocin stimulates uh, contractions in the uterus that would push the baby out. Now, this is similar to milk production. Remember, in milk production, oxytocin is used to kind of eject, to contract the muscles of the breast to eject the milk. So kind of similar here, but here the oxytocin stimulates the uterus itself to contract so that this baby is pushed. But what happens if the, if the baby is pushed? If the baby is pushed, the head pushes against the cervix even more and that again sends a nerve impulse which triggers the brain to predict to produce oxytocin which means that the oxytocin would trigger again another contraction so this whole thing escalates and escalates so so more pressure from the head of the baby more nerve impulses more oxytocin more oxytocin means more contraction which means the baby is pushed so the baby would now be pushed further and further out the uterus into the cervix and even out of the cervix and out of the vagina until such time that this, the baby, comes out. And if the baby comes out, that means no pressure on the cervix. So if there's no pressure on the cervix, no nerve impulses sent from the cervix to the brain, the brain now would stop producing oxytocin. Oxytocin would now be decreased such that no contraction of the uterus will now happen the whole labor process stops you see this whole thing are all positive feedback so these would escalate and escalate and escalate so the baby gets pushed and pushed and pushed further and further out but until the baby goes out completely when the baby goes out completely, this feedback mechanism collapses because there's no pressure against the cervix anymore. The whole labor process would now stop. You see, another example of a beautiful system of feedback mechanism inside the body to deal with a process. And that process in this case is the process of giving birth to a child.